Meteorologist Ryan Hoke here with a Saturday morning edition of the Hokey Video Blog. Hope your Thanksgiving was a lot of fun as well as your Black Friday. We were spoiled with perfect weather Thanksgiving and at least the first two-thirds of Friday. Then, of course, the rain moved in. The rain is moving back in this morning after a respite overnight, and we'll see additional rain as we go throughout today discussing those chances here in just a second. Right now, time for a look at today's hokey weather fact. We're talking about snow on Christmas. Reason for that? Well, we have the Christmas season underway, of course, since Thanksgiving is now done. So let's talk about Louisville's historic chances for a white Christmas. Historically, this is looking over the past, oh, say 30 years or so of data, Louisville has a 13% chance of seeing one or more inches of snow on the ground at any point during Christmas Day. That also includes back in 2004. You may remember we had a big snowstorm on December 22nd, 2004. Of course, that lasted into Christmas Day with uh, multiple inches of snow on the ground here in the city, a whole lot more up towards Seymour. They had like 36 inches from that storm. So we do not know yet if there will be snow on Christmas. In fact, we don't even have a forecast chance yet. It's just too far away. We're still like just under a month out. So give us a couple weeks. And then we'll start to put out some of those uh, chances on our earliest alert outlook. You'll see them here on the blogs as well. So we'll make sure that we are your winter weather headquarters here at Wave 3 News, especially as we head toward the Christmas season. Overcast skies now from our newest Kentucky One Health Sky Track camera at the Harbors in Jeffersonville. Uh, we're at 61 here in the Metro. We did make it up to 63 earlier, about three hours ago or so. I think that'll be the high for the day. We've got a cold front. That's very, very slowly moving through the area right now. In fact, if I had to draw it, we'd put it about right there. That's the temperature gradient that we're seeing there, basically between, oh, I'd say uh, Salem, or not Salem, Seymour in Austin, Indiana. See that? 57 degrees and 43, respectively there, between Austin and Seymour. So that's where the cold front is, and that's going to slowly sag southward by about 3.30. If I can draw a correctly shaped cold front, there we go. By 3.30 should be around there. By about 6 o'clock it'll be down there. So that's what we're going to be seeing today uh, as we move throughout the day. Cold front moving in. Temperature slowly dropping. It'll be nearly steady but likely slowly dropping with uh, showers moving on in. You'll see those showers now increasing from the west. Piece of energy is moving along this cold front acting as a focus uh, for the rain to fall on. Evansville seeing rain. You can see the rain really blossoming. An interesting area to look at is this area right here. You can see it went from almost no rain to an increasing bout of showers out there. Pretty steady rains now in western Kentucky and west Tennessee. Cold front position just toward north and west as you saw before. Cold air, cooler air I should say, trying to move in from the north to advance that, but it's a weakening front so I mean this is going to really just hang out for about 24 to 36 hours over our area. Hence why it'll be a focus for rainfall today and a focus for rain to our south, but still in our viewing area as we head throughout our Sunday. Here's how it looks on Futurecast. Of course, uh, it's a little overdone on how heavy the rain is and the placement, but you get the idea, especially by noontime. Most of us seeing rain by that point. Heading over to Lexington for the Governor's Cup. Take the umbrella. Take the poncho. poncho. It's going to be a wet ride out there. Uh, 3.30 p.m., a wet ride back on I-64 toward Louisville, and we still have rain moving through the area by that point. By tonight, we start to see some drying. A drying trend will take shape as that disturbance moves out. We get a little bit of a, a lull in the energy, some negative space in it, and that will allow us to uh, see a little bit of a respite from the rain as we move throughout the early portion of our Sunday. So your commute to Sunday services should be mostly dry. Shouldn't need the umbrella for most of us then by Sunday afternoon, though. Uh, especially the Kentucky side of the river, you'll certainly need it. Here's today's outlook uh, hour by hour here as we go throughout the late morning and the afternoon. You'll see that 100% chance of rain by 2 o'clock, 80% chance of rain by 6 p.m. Gently falling temperatures today. Nothing cold, but cooler temperatures certainly on the way for us over the uh, next 18 to 24 hours. All right, so you're heading on over to the Governor's Cup. What can you expect when you get there? Well, 58 degrees by 10 o'clock this morning in Lexington. They'll make it up to 61. The cold front's going to take some time to get there, so they'll top out in the 60s a little later today. 
And they'll certainly see the rain chance blossoming as that cold front approaches them from the west. Back here in the metro, our rain chances look like this. Yeah, woo, yeah, 100% chance of rain by uh, 2 o'clock and 4 o'clock here in the metro area. On Sunday, of course, we are going to have additional showers moving through our southern counties. This is the latest version of the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model by 9 o'clock. You'll see that it's got kind of a lull in the action, and then some showers tried to build back in. Uh, as we go throughout, say, the uh, afternoon, but especially into the evening hours. So we may have several dry hours on Sunday to get through, which is a good thing uh, before the rain begins to move back in once again. By Monday, 70% chance of showers. Then another wave moves along this cold front. But by Tuesday, this is interesting because we're going to see not the same cold front. That'll be probably to our south, kind of washed out by that point. But really, late Monday into early Tuesdays, another cold front moving in from the west. This one's more progressive. It's going to move, thank goodness. So this rain chance is going to linger. In fact, it will be scooting out of here by probably early Tuesday. Here's the look by 1.30 on our Monday there. Notice how that disturbance moves out. Another front, another disturbance moves in by early Tuesday. Behind that, the cool air begins to intrude in. Much drier conditions expected as we move throughout our Tuesday. And rainfall totals should be on the order of about 2 to 3 inches between yesterday's rain on up to Tuesday. Pretty hefty rainfall for this time of year. And I should say, we are well ahead of rainfall for the year, too. I mean, this has been a blockbuster year for rain across the area. We had two major flooding, flash flooding events, and uh, I don't think we're going to have any more of those this year, just because we, we tend not to get enough moisture to do that. But uh, we'll certainly keep an eye out for it. Uh, cooler temperatures Wednesday through Friday, upper 40s up to the lower 50s. Nothing too crazy, but overnight lows will be getting pretty close to freezing there during that time. Uh, next two weeks on the Early Alert Outlook, uh, pretty boring forecast, actually, at this point. From the 5th to the 11th of December, 50s. There may be a day or two there in the 40s, maybe a day or two in the 60s uh, at this point. Uh, but at this point, I kind of went uh, center line 50s for that. A uh, couple of rain chances, one the 7th and 8th. The next on the 11th, no snow in that extended outlook at this time. So for you snow lovers, hang tough. We're not even to winter yet. We're not even to meteorological winter yet. And uh, most of our, of our snow comes in January and February. So don't lose hope yet. In fact, as our winter forecast stated, we'll probably see a flip sometime around January, maybe early February in the weather pattern between what we've kind of got now and what will be coming with really cold shots of air at some point uh, as we go throughout the early portion of 2016. A little bit of seasonal uh, outlook flavor there for you. That's all I got for now. Uh, enjoy your small business Saturday if you're out shopping today along Frankfurt Avenue, Bardstown Road, or wherever you may be going to visit a local business across the area. For now, I'm meteorologist Ryan Hoke. Enjoy your Saturday. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Sunrise starting at 5.